Okay, so our commander is running. Be, be careful about that. Don't think it's not there because you don't see it. We go down in the toolbar and we open it up. So here it is. Note a couple of things. Okay, first thing you need to do with our commander. Our commander is wonderful. You can do so many things with it, but you have to load a data set. So you click on this one. It says there's no active data set and it'll list all the data sets that are available. Now these were all created by me, by the by PLS GUI when I ran PLS path modeling. It most of these are the reports that are output, but you also have a couple of other critical files. File one is your data file, and file one int is a file created when the program runs of your latent variables and all of their possible interaction effects. So let's use that one. That's really, this is the latent variable scores. This is really what the inner model regression results report on. Okay, so we're going to load that. File 1 int, say OK. And you can see it if you want to. You can say View Dataset, and it, it pops open. All this is, these are the latent variables in my model. Okay, and I, I didn't show you a graphic of my model. It's visible back here. Uh, the PLS, here it is. This is kind of primitive. I'm going to replace this with a better looking model. But this is my inner path model. Okay, these are each latent variables. These are just the, the basic latent variables in my model. But with file one int, it's these seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It also automatically creates the two-stage interaction values. And we'll talk about that another time. If you want to do, um, you want to create uh, and product indicator interaction term, you can do that. Okay, but let, let's, let me show you something else first. Okay, so here's something, not something cool, something amazing about our commander. First of all, let's just look at the graphics. Okay, you have in our commander, you have, for example, 3D graphs. And let's say I was examining a, um, an interaction. Okay, and so, we come down here, it's graphs under our commander, 3D graph, 3D scatter plot. You, you get this pop-up bar, and you might have to look, there it is. And so the explanatory variable, you pick two explanatory variables. And let's say, we'll say, um, we'll go with, um, Let's see, in our, in our model, attitude is the ultimate predicted variable. So we'll say the response variable will be attitude, but two of the primary predecessors, latent variables that predict it, are um, trust and enjoyment. So we'll choose those two. You have to pick three. Got to hold down the control key. Trust, enjoyment. You got to pick two explanatory variables and response variable. We say OK. This calls the RGL package, and again, you might have to hunt for it. Um, there it is. Where it plots, note this is interactive, spinnable. It, it takes your three variables, attitude, trust, and enjoyment, and plots them on a 3D graph, and plots all the points mapping each case, each observation mapped to their values. These are the latent variable scores for attitude, trust, and enjoyment. This is very useful if you have an interaction because you can not only see it in 3D with the best fitting plane, it fits a linear plane, not a linear regression, amongst the three variables, but it also shows you the distances of each point from the plane. So um, this can be very useful with interactions to better understand w uh, what the relationship is among the three variables. A limitation of this, as with PLS path modeling in general, of course, is that it is linear. Um, however, our commander, 
has a way around that. Okay, so this is a linear 3D plot. This is pretty cool. You have quite a few of these using RGL, but let, let me show you something else that's even more interesting, I think. So, note if you're using Windows, be careful. You might think something's not there, and it is. Just go look. Okay, so here's our commander again. Um, let's do a, a, a uh, scatter plot. Okay, what am I talking about? Well, in this model, here's our basic path model. Uh, for example, trust is predicted by PSP and by telepresence. All of these estimates, these are the path coefficient estimates, are based on the assumption that the relationship here is linear. All it does, all, all PLS path modeling does, it estimates values for all of these latent variables first and throws everything away essentially and then just simply re performs regression, ordinary least squares regression on the predicted the predicted onto the predictor. So this is a multiple regression here. Trust is predicted by this one and this one. Um, this is a this is a multiple regression. P perceived usefulness is predicted by this, this, and this. That's all it does. Okay, so but it assumes that they're all linearly related. We can test that assumption with our commander. This is the real power. We can test the assumption. So, so let's do that. How do we do that? Well, a scatter plot is a really good way. For example, let's look at the real relationship between trust and telepresence. We have a significant coefficient, and you can tell it's significant uh, in the reports. Note the reports, I had them automatically saved. Uh, you drill down here and you'll to, to my reports directory, and you'll, you'll find them. Um, quickly where is it let's see it's um here here are all the reports okay and there's some other ones commingled in there because i was using it previously but that's they get saved these are all just csv files you pop them open but let's go back okay so we want to investigate the real relationship here between tele telepresence and trust and this goes to the heart of pls path modeling this is this is not just a nice to have. This is really a, an incredible feature that's enabled by our commander. What if these relationships are not linear? Furthermore, you don't even know what, what type of nonlinear relationship there might be. And with human behavior especially, it's usually not linear. And yet that's all we test. Okay, so how do we get at this? Okay, so we, we go back to our commander and we say, okay, I'm going to just do a scatter plot of trust and telecommunications. So I'll just open up their sta standard scatter plot. So I say graphs, scatter plot, and uh, the predicted variable will be uh, trust, and the x variable will be uh, telepresence. Note you have an options tab here, and but I'll just have, take all the defaults, which are very good, which are very useful. You can you can play around with this quite a bit. Okay, and I'll just say, hit it, go. And if you go back here, you have to go back to the main window and just jiggle it a little bit. I know that sounds crazy. All the plots will always turn up in this one tab, which is the first one you see. Okay, so here it is. And what do we have here? Well, these are the points of the latent variable scores, uh, telepresence, predicting trust. And here's our regression line, the green line. But we also fitted a, a smooth, and a, uh, uh, it's a low S line that locally fits the points with a 50% span. So it, it's, it's a better indicator of the trends in the relationship. Okay, and these are the 95% uh, confidence intervals. You, you can easily see, okay, that the smooth tells you it's not a linear relationship. In fact, it's almost a classic cubic relationship because you get this S-shape, S okay? So that tells us, and, and also these box plots give you more information about the, the, uh, the median and the 50%, uh, and we'll talk about that later. But let's go back to this. So this is showing us the relationship is not linear. 
which is what our model told us. Well, what is the relationship? 